Welcome to the video. I've just sat down to edit a vlog that I shot on my iPhone 13 Pro earlier this week with my coffee, my bacon sandwich, the perfect Sunday morning, but I've instantly run into a little problem with the editing in terms of the color grading of the iPhone footage. Now, I hadn't quite appreciated that the iPhone shoots in an HDR mode, which you can actually turn on or off. By default, I believe it's set on, certainly mine was set on. When you look at the footage on your phone, it looks absolutely amazing. Even when you drag it onto your computer, Air dropped it straight over to my Mac here. It looks really, really good when you just check it in like a finder window. As soon as you drag it into DaVinci Resolve, which is the editing software that I use, and I believe any other editing software you use, so Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, the footage all of a sudden looks totally rubbish. It looks overexposed, kind of bleached, kind of washed out, a little bit log-like, but even then not quite like that. Uh, I spent a good few minutes there just kind of scratching my head, checking that I hadn't messed it up when I shot it. I was quite confused. And then, of course, took to YouTube and did quite an extensive bit of research to find a fix for it. I checked out quite a few videos. I found one that was really, really good. So I'm gonna share that video with you for the full description because color grading, etc., it really is not my area of expertise and I don't pretend to know anything in depth about it. However, I was able to follow the simple steps that, that this video provided very usefully for me to correct my footage. So I'm just gonna run you through that quickly so that you've got a good idea of roughly how to do it. And you can see the difference in my footage. And I will link the video as well because it's really, really interesting and a really good video to follow so you get a bit of a better understanding of how the whole thing works. But it's just worth knowing the iPhone shoots in HDR and when you pull it into a software editing program such as DaVinci Resolve, things will start to look a little bit different. So perhaps I might not shoot in HDR next time because for me, the idea of shooting with the iPhone is to make things really, really easy and I don't really want extra steps of color grading. It's my least favorite thing to do. But first, coffee and my baking roll. And I will show you how I fixed this footage. Okay, so here we have the clip. As you can see, it's looking very washed out. So to correct this, what we're gonna do is make sure the clip is selected and we are gonna go over into the color tab. And then we're gonna look at creating a few more nodes here. So we're gonna take the first node and right click on it uh, to create add node and add a serial. We're gonna add three serial nodes here. So we're gonna to go to add node and add another serial. So we've got three nodes to work with here. We're gonna click on the second node and we're gonna to go to open effects. And we're looking for color space transform, which I'm gonna drag onto the second node there. Now we need to do a little bit of adjustments here in the color space transform section. So on the input, color space, we are gonna go for Rec 2020. So I'm gonna click here. I'm just gonna tap R and go down to Rec 2020. And we're gonna click there. And then for the input gamma, we are looking for Rec 2100 HLG. So I'm gonna do that, hit R again, and scroll down until I can find it. And there it is, click there. And then finally, we are gonna go down to gamut mapping and we're gonna hit saturation compression. So now that bit has done, already the image is looking a lot better. I'm just gonna hit the first node again and make a slight adjustment. We're in the tone uh, curve section here. I'm just gonna have a little fiddle just to get it about right. So it doesn't need too much to be fair. I think to tweak things a little bit, as well in the video that I watched, there was a little bit of um, adjustment done on color boost and saturation, but actually I'm pretty happy with how this image is looking because it's quite colorful anyway. And literally that is it. Much better looking, definitely got the color back in. Um, really, really happy with that. And it works across all the clips that I took. So 
there you have it. A nice quick fix. Thanks to Jamie for that awesome video. I'll link it in the description below in case you want to go and check it out. It's really good for the full explanation. Enjoy shooting on your iPhone. Enjoy editing your iPhone footage. For me, hmm, I might switch off HDR mode in the future if I'm going to do any quick vlogging with it. But let's see. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.